What's going on, my friends? My name is EbTraderGrates, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds for the Nintendo 3DS. We're all up last time we did the first dungeon of the game, Eastern Palace, and now in this part, we have to go to two more dungeons in order to get the three remaining pendants in order to obtain the Master Sword, so that's what we're going to be doing here in this part, so let's go ahead and do that. So, uh, as you can see, the castle uh, looks pretty bad, and what has happened? Well, it's time to figure that out. <clears throat> Goalie, it's time to come home. He must not be able to hear me. Oh, I hope he hasn't gotten himself lost in those woods down south. Oh, well, that's not good. If Goalie's missing, then... Well, I hope he didn't run into too much trouble. So we're going back to the smith's shop here. And actually... With our new ability, we can actually... This kind of opens up the overworld a bit here. It's kind of the, the trend in Zelda games where the more items you get, then the more the overworld opens up. And some items open up the overworld more than other items. Uh, so... Whoa, hold up a second, Greenie. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Someone else wearing the green hat? I mean, there are those little green... Uh, oh, uh, weenie things. Who am I? Haven't heard of me? I'm Irene, best witch of my generation. Still a junior witch, but whatever. Alright, get this. I had my fortune told this morning, right? And I was told I'd soon be visited by disaster. DISASTER! But if I want to change my future, I should take care of green! I was like, GREEN! What, I should take care of the grass? I'm not mowing every lawn, Hyrule. Forget that! I'm a witch on the rise! And then you came along, and then it all made sense. I've got to take care of you, Greenie. So here, take this thing! Okay. Been seeing those weather vanes all over the place? Just ring that bell, and I'll fly you to any of those you found. Normally, I don't take passengers, but I'd rather haul you all over Hyrule than face disaster. Anyway, gotta fly. I have errands to run for my gram later. Oh right, one more thing. My Graham's a world-class potion brewer. Her shop is behind the Eastern Palace. I strongly suggest you go look for her. Uh, her potions can't be beat. See, I'm looking out for you already, Greenie. Okay, that's nice. So, we can now warp to any of those like save points that we've been passing by, but there is not really a reason for me to do any warping right now, so we are going to go ahead and make our way to the place that we're supposed to go right now. It's also worth noting that you actually have to activate those warping points, um, those uh, weather vanes, in order to actually prove that you've been there before. Uh, so. Um, alright, uh, you might be wondering why I'm back over here, that's because on our way back there's a few things that we can get on the way, and that is uh, by going back to this little secret passageway over here, uh, in order to get to the sanctuary, but, if you've kind of explored the room a bit, you might notice there was a peculiar item that we couldn't really get, so we're gonna go ahead and, uh, see what we got going on there, go and kill all the enemies, and so now with our new ability called, I believe it's called Merge? Then uh, you can go to the wall here, and you can go inside walls, and basically just travel across walls and into different parts, and then you can hear yourself a heart piece in there, and it's really cool. It's a really cool ability. Um, unfortunately, because I'm, it's such a unique ability, um, it's not really something I really think about using very often, so as I've been playing this game so far, um, I've been kind of stumped on puzzles that, where I should be using the merge ability, and, uh, it's like the last thing, it tends to be the last thing I think about, and it's, yeah. Alright, so here's one of these weather veins right here, so we're gonna go ahead and activate them. You don't have to save in order to act activate them, I already activated them, so we're gonna go ahead and not save, and this is the potion shop that Irene was talking about. Um, and in order to actually uh, get potions, it's not, it actually doesn't cost, well, okay, it does cost rupees, but, um, it all, it costs rupees, but, and also you need to find, uh, other collectibles that we've been collecting, they're called, uh, well, one of them is Monster Guts, and then there's also other collectibles that, that, uh, some potions are needed in order to actually make those potions. Um, 
So, uh, I have a few monster guts, which is definitely not going to be enough in order to uh, get any of the potions that I want there. Ooh, who's this guy? I think I've seen this guy before. Oh my goodness, he ran me over. Youch, watch where you're going. Wait a second, I've seen you. Aren't you that kid who was hanging out in the village? Well, whatever. Out of my way. The queen! Please help! Somebody help! Oh, what's happening? Okay, well that guy's suspicious now. I'm pretty sus on that guy. What is this? The queen is in a sea of trouble. We've got to do something. But what? That guy doesn't even know all the trouble he just caused. Okay, what the heck's going on here? It's getting worse by the second. I can't believe that guy came in and stole the smooth gem right out from under our gills. That finless jerk probably thought it was just some sparkly thing, but the queen needs it to contain her power. Without that smooth gem, our queen will keep... Is that water, like, poisonous? Oh my gosh, she just got bigger! She'll keep bloating up! But our poor queen! We've got to get that smooth gem back or else... Okay. Get me out of here! She just plain suck until we get her smooth gem back somehow. Our poor queen. Alright. Well, time to find that guy, whoever he might be. Well, since he said we uh, found him in Kakariko Village, then there's uh, probably one place for us to go to. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, first stop before I do that, we're going to actually go to my house because this is actually the closest part that I want to go to. Um, so, I mean this will still take us back to Kakariko Village. Let's go ahead and uh, make our way over here. Oh, oh yeah, also uh, there are these guards here in the overworld that will uh, pretty much ruin our day. So we go ahead and make our way this way. Uh, you, this part, you kind of want to do this. Because it'll be very convenient later on down the line here. As you can see right here, where um, where the flute boy used to be in A Link to the Past, we have a little pouch thing right here. Have you seen Goalie in here? Wait, did you just find that pouch? Oh my stars, Goalie had that! I made it for you so you could carry more items, but he insisted on being the one who gave it to you. If you found it here, then where is my goalie? How awful. I had better tell my husband. I'm sure we can find him somehow. We have to. But please, you should use that pouch so I won't have to worry about you quite as much. Okay. Okay, so now we can use... We can actually use two items instead of one item now. So that's very convenient. Uh, so we're back to the Link's Awakening style where we can only equip like two items all at once. Let's go ahead and uh, take advantage of that, shall we? Let's go ahead and equip our bow while we're at it here. Um, oh yeah, sometimes you can find soldiers in the grass. It's kind of annoying. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our way over to Ow, the village, shall we? We're going to grab those rupees here. Like I said, you want to grab as many rupees as, as you can, because... Things are expensive in this game for some reason. I don't know why. Alright, so let's go ahead and make our way back to the village here. And as you can see... Good news! I have some new stock that may interest you. Please come take a look. Have you seen this rare stone? Smoother than silk. Go on, feel it. Just touching such a treasure will make your skin happy all over. Really? Well, I'm just gonna buy it anyway, so... For you, 200 rupees. So, yeah, things are so expensive in this game. You want you want to get as many rupees as you can. All right, all right. So then, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna I'm gonna do something really strange. If you don't know this game at all, then this might not make much sense to you. But I'm gonna go ahead and do this right here. Merge into this wall. Ha ha! Whoa, who's there? You? Where'd you come from? Sorry. Huh? I had no idea that stone was that precious. 
I knew that Jemson would fetch a high price. I'm sorry, I already sold it to that guy over there. Well, it's a good thing I bought it already. I already spent all the money I got from selling that darn stone. I couldn't help taking it. My boots helped me run so fast that I have been stealing everything that isn't nailed down. But here, you take these boots. I can tell that you won't abuse their power. I hope they fit. And we get the Pegasus boots. Wow. So, the Pegasus boots, they work much different in this game than in A Link to the Past. Um, basically, there's still like a start animation to uh, dashing, and then you just dash really fast. In fact, you dash so fast in this game that it's like, it can be kind of hard to react to. So this is what dashing looks like. Um, and then also you, there is a uh, like a, a a period where uh, Link kind of has to like stop in place. Um, so unfortunately, I probably won't be using it very much because it is so hard to to use the Pegasus boots in this game. I don't know why they changed that, but wait, stranger, do you have the Queen Smooth Gem? Throw it in the pool, hurry! <laughs> don't throw it? What happens if I don't throw it? I'll throw it. Dang, so the water's not poisonous anymore, and wow! So she loses weight. Now she's all like tiny and such. The queen! The bloating has stopped! Are you the one who helped me? Thanks to you, I'm free of my pool. That was all rather undignified. Allow me to introduce you myself. My name is Orin, Queen of the Zoras. I don't know how I came to rely on that troublesome smooth gem, but I do need it, so I thank you deeply. I'm filled with gratitude. Please take these, won't you? And we get flippers. The Zora Flippers. They used to be 500 rupees in a link to the past, now they're free. They will allow you to swim and dive so you may travel the rivers and roam the lakes. But my Zoras do consider that their territory, and while I tell them to get along with people, I have to admit, they just don't listen, so be careful out there. Oh really? So some, there are some Zoras that are just bad? Dang. I tried. That's not good. Alright, so immediately we can uh, put the Flippers into use by uh, first off collecting some of these rupees right here. I know these are like single rupees, so I'm just gonna grab all of them just cause why not. All right. And let's see, head down this way and there is a cave down over here. And this cave will contain a heart piece. Very nice, and heart pieces do uh, refill your health uh, in this game, unlike in A Link to the Past or many other 2D Zelda games where uh, Getting, you won't get a full heart refill unless you get the full heart container out, out of a heart piece. Alright, so um, that's pretty much all that we can do there. So now we're actually going to go back to my house because now we have to enter the next dungeon. But to enter the next dungeon, we can't really do it because we don't have the item to do that. So let's see if Ra our friend Rabio might uh, have something for us. Wait, what did you do to my house, though? I still haven't found anywhere else to stay, so I spruce things up in here. I made it into a nice little shop for myself. Pretty great, isn't it? But what? This is my house, though. You can't just do this to other people's house. So I take it things didn't go as planned, but the item I lent you came in handy, right? You know, there's actually plenty more where that came from. Ravio's all about helping heroes. And the way things are going, I think you're going to need my help. You know what they say, you wash my ears, I'll wash yours. How about you rent me your house? I'm not gonna do that. Where am I gonna stay at then? What? I didn't agree to this. I never said yes. I rent a wide range of items and weapons to you. And the rental period? That's the best part. You keep rentals for a long time. 
Specifically, until next time you fall in battle, which might never happen, right? Okay, so I just gotta not die. Easy, right? That's not hard, I think. But if you do fall in battle, my pal Shiro here will swoop in to collect my property. Okay. If you find anything you like, just walk up to it. Okay. Alright. So... Let's see. This is the most important thing that we need here. So we're gonna go ahead and rent this. Uh, this is how we're going to enter the next dungeon. And then I'm also gonna rent bombs because... There's a few things that we can get here with bombs. Alright, and then... Uh, I'm also gonna rent the ice rod. Uh, and then let's go and rent more things here. Let's get the boomerang. Alright, and then... Uh, let's get one more item here. We're gonna get the hammer. So, in theory, you can rent all these items if you want, but um, I'm not going to get the hookshot with fire out. There's not much of a reason for me to even get those right now, so I'm going to go ahead and leave. Alrighty, so, um, with that, uh, the first thing that we can do on our way to the next dungeon is head over here. And with some of our new items, particularly bombs, we can go ahead and place down the, a bomb right here. And then this cave will open up and we're going to see what we got going on here. My oh my, what business have you with Mother Mai Mai? Forgive me if my spirits aren't flying so high. We were on a great voyage through all the worlds, my tykes and I. Then I lost sight of my little Mai Mai's, all 100 of my babies, by and by. Could you find all of them? You'll hear my children crying, calling for their mother Mai Mai. And so begins the 100 Mai Mai quests. Uh, if, you're if you've played Ocarina of Time, then Ocarina of Time has 100 Gold Skull Tulas. This In this game, there's 100 Mai Mai's. Um, so, if you go ahead and... Um, use the map here, this displays how many Mai Mai's are in each area. So, uh, as you can see, if you add the numbers correctly, it doesn't add up to 100, and there's a particular reason why. They call it with such cute chirping sounds, yet they must be so sad, missing their mother Mai Mai. Alright, so right away... There is a Mai Mai right over here. Now, unfortunately, you can't pull them out. So what you have to do is you want to merge into a wall and merge out of them. Just like that. And that is our first Mai Mai completed, or collected, out of the 100 of them in this game. There's a lot of them. Uh, in fact, if we go back to this place over here, this is uh, my house over here. I'm going to go ahead and defeat this soldier, because this soldier sucks. Alright, merge into here, and look, there's a Mai Mai right out over here. So that is uh, already two Mai Mais that we have found. 98 more left to go. How many more are we going to find? I don't know. Let's see. Alright, head out over here. Uh, you can actually blow this up. And uh, that is a fairy fountain, I believe. So we're not going to go there. The fairy fountains are used if you are if you are in danger and you need health back. But um, I'm not in that much of a danger. So in order to get this Mai Mai, you want to go ahead and bonk into that in order to uh, have the Mai Mai come on down. Uh, some Mai Mais are uh, in like trees or like above things where you have to bonk on on them and that is how you're going to get some of those there's a uh, one in the water like that like that right there so we're gonna go ahead and uh pick that up and then there is a heart piece right there that we can't really get right now i wonder what what why that is all right, now here's a cool tr uh, trick right here. This, uh, this is a returning mechanic from a Link to the or Link's Awakening, actually. Notice when you put your hold your sword out on the wall, uh, nothing really happens, but certain parts of the wall 
Whoa, that's pretty suspicious. What happens if I place a bomb right here? Oh, it blows up! Wow, it's a bobble wall that there's no indication of letting you know that you can actually blow it up. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, see what we got going on over here. Oh, also, uh, this was in Link to the Past as well, but in the Game Boy Advance version. But if you see sparkling rocks like this, you can uh, slash your sword multiple times at it and lots of rupees come out. So this is actually very helpful because we need lots of rupees in this game. It is crazy. Okay, so another Mai Mai in uh, this pool of water right here. You can also get these rupees too. Alright, I got the rupees, so now we go ahead and swim on out of here. Get out of here. That was not very nice of you to do that to me. And if we go ahead and head out in this cave over here, then we can get ourselves a heart piece. Very nice. So now that we're out of there, we're gonna go ahead and continue downwards this way. So this is actually Lake Hylia. We were in the southern swamp earlier, now here we are in Lake Hylia. Or Hylia. I think the pronunciation doesn't uh, particularly uh, matter, I think. I don't know. Oh, whenever you see non-sparkling rupees, a like-like appears! And you want to be careful of like-likes, because like-likes are... they... they don't like-like you. Alright, go ahead and make your way over here. There's lots of crabs here. And actually, what's crazy about crabs is they used to hit for uh, two, or two hearts of damage. This time, uh, they nerfed the damage of crabs in this game, which is very convenient, because uh, they hurt quite a lot. So go ahead and head on down over here, and uh, there's nothing uh, uh, noteworthy there. You can blow up this wall over here. Uh, if you go to this cave right here, it's a fairy fountain if you want fairies. But then if you go ahead over here, and open this chest, then you get a whopping 300 rupees. That's a lot of rupees. Um, definitely don't want to pass over this opportunity. Okay, anything in this cave right here? Let me see. Light up these torches, and let's see what's inside here. Purple Rupee! Okay! So, this is helpful if you want to get Rupees. Um, because you'll need a lot of them. Okay, so back over here to this part right here. You can go ahead and fall in the water. And there is a bottle right over here. So go ahead and pick up this bottle right here, and that is actually our second bottle. There's a letter inside. I was up on the mountain doing some bouldering when I lost my grip and fell and sort of hurt myself. All in the day of a boulder, going climbing without equipment isn't for the faint of heart. Anyway, I'm stuck on the mountain way past the Terra Para, and I could really go for some premium milk. Yeah, that really get me get me up and going again. So if you're at the milk bar, please pick some up for me. Okay, I will uh, keep that in mind, whoever you are. But then if we go ahead and uh, swim our way. You swim really slow in this game. I do not like. I do not like this. All right, here's a Mai Mai right over here, uh, where the uh, there used to be like a whirlpool, um, but um, there's not a whirlpool there anymore. And then there is another Mai Mai right over here too. Very nice. So that's number seven. And then if we go over here where Ice Palace used to be from the original from the original game. And here's a weather vane. Okay, once again we're not gonna save. And as you can see, this symbol uh, pretty much indicates that you need the tornado rod in order to actually enter this dungeon. So we're actually going to go ahead and equip it. Uh, and uh, that's what the tornado rod does. It kind of blows uh, wind around you. Um, you can also, it, it's also used to like stun enemies too, if you're interested in that. And that is the switch to open up this uh, dungeon. So with that being said, that is going to be it for this episode of The Letters of the Link Between Worlds. And next time, we're going to be entering the House of Gales. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!